Hello everyone, my name is Ekvi Livromest and this is my Witcher 3 gameplay series, episode number 15. So we just finished the quest about the broken statues for the witches. Yeah. Probably shouldn't have done it because I don't really think that they are good gods, but we will see. Right, so now, for some reason the game really, really, really wants us to go to the Bloody Baron. And as for lower level contracts or missions, um, I think I have to level a bit more. So, let's try this one. We are three. What disturbs me a little bit were those level question mark question mark enemies there. Because by any like this uh, generic standards level question mark question mark enemies are not the enemies you want to meet because you will probably die so the <coughs> level gap thingy there is quite big That there was a heavy hitter.
This is a hostile territory. The least. Well, shite. Fine, let's go with the boat then. All aboard! Well, yeah, so I suppose I have to go there, by boat. With a small boat on a stormy... I don't know what water body it is. Lake, maybe? River? No, lake. a tree we are looking oh it's not we're looking huh my bad Is anyone there? No? There should be at least a fast turbo in somewhere. Oh, there it is. Well, at least good, good for that at least. Or at least this is good.
God damn it, this thing is ugly. Monster nest? What the hell? Oh, drowners. Okay. So I have no clue where the hell I am. Careful, sir. A monster prowls the bog. Enter the mist and you'll never see home again. This monster, tell me more. Only seen it once myself. And that from afar, and past dusk. Thought it were a man at first. Then it turned, and I saw eyes burning like coals and a jaw full of fangs, one next to the other. Humanoid, nocturnal. Hmm. First attack. Remember when it happened? A week passed, near about. It was then Boren vanished. Merrick and Tommil went looking for him, didn't come back either, them two. I were feared. Now none dare venture into the bog. Camp stands deserted, and the peat there, master, it's the best sort. Black as pitch and oily, good for fuel and. Fascinating, but staying with the topic at hand. I can help for a fee. Of course. Why, even an ox don't pull a plow for free. Let's right, just get to work. I got to work. Where will I find this monster? Start south of here, but beware. Bad poxy air hangs o'er the marsh. Stings your eyes, claws at your throat. Claws so hard you could choke. This level is a bit lower still. Don't really want to get into level 12 monster yet. Well, what well, I know, it actually is candies and whatever, not stuff. Gingerbread or whatever. Was that gingerbread full of worms? She.
God damn it, it so reminds me of this uh, fairy tale. Okay. Doug went in the kitchen, stole a hunk of meat. Cook gave him a licking, strung him by his feet. Cooked and bled him empty, stripped his skin off clean. Laughed and said, How tasty, best sausage I have seen. Cook's a stupid killer, shouldn't have ate the pup. Now we're light a fire, gonna roast him up. One, two, three! The one to fetch the kindlings! Thee! Interesting rhyme. Don't know you. Go away. What are you doing out here alone? We's not alone. We's with Gran. But where did you all come from? We's orphans. All of you? There's a war, so there's orphans. Didn't know that. I'm looking for the witches of Crookback Bog. You looks like a witch yourself. The w w witches of the bog. We can't go in the bog. Gran don't let us. When my brother Zemek went missing, Gran said it was because he went in the woods and got lost. Gran cried an awful lot after that. He could still come back. A young woman got lost in the swamp. She has ashen hair and a scar on her face. You kids see anyone like that? Ain't no lassies here. What am I? You're no lassie. Lassies got tits. They do. Heard an old man say once, when the army was here, he says, hide them lassies in the woods. They's dazzling the soldiers with their tits, and it's torturing the poor lads. That's what he said. Listen, the girl I'm looking for, she's in trouble. I understand you might not want to help me, but you could try to help her. How do you know she was here? I heard she visited the witches in the swamp. But there's no witches here. There's only frogs. And snakes. And Johnny. What's this talk? What kind of jabbering is this, eh? No one allowed here. Just kids. My kids. They're allowed. But who are you? Wearing swords like a bandit. You look after these kids? They're my grandchildren. Gran's good to us. Gonna be soup with scratchings for supper. Kids get lost in the woods. I miss them. Seen them in the woods. No one has. Who's Johnny? Johnny, Johnny ate a cat. Come the more in some furry shat. Watch your language. They tell tales and tales. Naught but tales. Are you one of the witches of the swamp? I hear Crookback Bog. Which? Me? Nay, I've no broom nor owl and not one wart on me nose. Got a pretty nose, see? Gwen's got a lovely beak. Oh, you darling girl. Oh, kids are so sweet. Just talking to the kids. Asked them if they'd seen a young woman. Oh, I was a lovely young woman. Wore a long, beautiful braid my mummy did up for me. Had dresses with flowers on them. Maybe you've seen her. Young, ashen hair. You're betrothed. Daughter, actually. Daughter? My dear, sweet little daughter. And her sister. Where are they now? Maybe they've come to some harm. A bit of help, please? 
A young, ashen-haired woman. Just need to know if you've seen her. What are you looking at, children? Wash your hands, we'll go catch crickets. Won't learn anything from you. Aye, cos I don't know nothing. That Johnny knows. He knows a lot. When I ask him something, he says, Wait, I'll scratch my arse and tell you. Ugly word. What you saying? To the hut. You'll stand in the corner. I'll make sure you do. You. Be gone. Be gone. Right. Can't come in here. Not allowed in here. I just want to talk to the boy. Not allowed. It's not allowed. He won't talk to you anyway. Gran don't like you. And and Johnny's made up. And, and strangers steal kids. Just tell me where I can find Johnny. Johnny's made up. Be gone. Be gone. Well, damn it. Why don't you want to talk about Johnny? One of you knows about him. The others must too. It's just him who's pals with Johnny. They pick mushrooms and hunt snails. But Gran says Johnny's made up. The boy who plays with Johnny, he must be brave. Not brave, just stupid. Sat his bare bum on an anthill once. But yeah, he plays with Johnny. He don't listen to Gran and goes in the woods, and then he's got to have a time out. And he eats snails. Yuck. Does your Gran treat you right? She ever hurt you? Never. When we're bad, she cries. She's scared. Say strangers might take us, and we'll disappear. Have any of you ever seen Johnny? Of course. Looks just like him. Then why do you say he's made up? Gran says so. And Gran knows lots. The girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your Gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. All right. But you gotta do something for us, too. Play hide and seek. Gran never does. Says her feet hurt. Let's play. You hide, but if I find you, you have to help me talk to the boy who knows Johnny. He thinks he'll find us easy. Means he's never hid from the black ones. No looking, and you have to count out loud. All your fingers, toes, too. One, two, three, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I didn't see. Ready or really? not, here I come. There you are. How'd you find me? I'm not really good at hide and seek.
Found you. You can stop hiding. Aww. Two more? Damn it. See you. No fair. I'm supposed to win. One more. Darn it. Found you. You're the last one. You cheated. Come to the cottage. I gotta tell the others I won. Found you all. Now you gotta keep your word and help me talk to Johnny's friend. Why wouldn't we? Promised, didn't we? Afraid. Don't know nothing. I won't hurt you. Where's Gran? She's busy. Why are you scared to talk? I'm not scared of nothing. You're all scared of something. Would have told me about Johnny otherwise. I'm worried about Johnny. He don't come round no more. Once, when we was mushroom picking, I saw his burrow. But Gran yelled at me, said not to talk to strangers, cause then kids go missing. She worries about Johnny too, though she says he's made up. Where are you and your friend's parents? Dad, some starved. Others were killed, like mine. One day, I went out at dawn to look for berries in the woods. Still some around back then. When I was coming home, I heard the yells, then laughing, went up and hid in the bushes near the woods. My mum yelled, and the soldiers laughed. Leave my pot down by the bird door. Is it clean off? I left my mum. It's all right. That's enough. I just want to talk to Johnny. He could know more than you. Not gonna hurt him, right? Cause he's real. He's not made up. I'm not gonna hurt him. Johnny used to be boy, cause Gran liked listening to his songs. When we was picking mushrooms, Johnny said he saw a girl with ashen hair in the swamp. Where can I find Johnny? There is a little meadow on the edge of the swamp. This strange tree grows there. Look around, you'll see him. Thank you. Ooh, that's one weird, weird fairy tale I've ended up into. Hey. 
Okay, but right now it seems that it's time to end this episode. So thank you for watching me. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Twitter and this awesome, awesome story will continue in the next episode. Bye bye.